Tonight, months after the smoke cleared in Maui, we're getting a clearer picture of the human failures surrounding one of the deadliest natural disasters in U.S. history. An NBC News documentary examines what went wrong in the run-up to the wildfires. We do want to warn you, though, some of the images you're about to see are graphic. It's the escape from the Maui wildfires as we've never seen before. Hurry the this is what Lahaina resident Diego Rivera saw as he drove through an inferno. With no power or cell service, he had no idea what the situation was. And the smoke, flames, and horror lying on the street you see here. Somebody's down right yeah, here. Yeah, somebody's down. We're just the beginning. So adrenaline kind of kicks in, and, and then I see the crew I'm going to meet up with. And the look on their face is something I won't ever forget. The new film, In the Ashes, an NBC News digital doc, re-examines the people and events that led up to the August 8th wildfire that killed at least 100 people and destroyed an American community. Everybody needs to evacuate. Police did try to evacuate residents. Evacuate. But an apparent breakdown in official communication left many with no warning and almost no way out. There was no guidance. We had to make the decision on our own when it was time to go. Besides the government response, Hawaiian Electric, the company powering Lahaina, is facing accusations their power lines sparked the blaze. I strongly believe that Hawaiian Electric should have done a power shutoff program. That would have been appropriate given the, the winds being over 70 miles an hour. There was red flag warnings. Until last October, Jennifer Potter ran the regulatory body that oversees Hawaiian Electric. Did Hawaiian Electric know that their system was vulnerable during these high winds? If they try and state that they, that they didn't, that would be that would be sort of an insult. Some of those polls are are over 40, 50 years old, and a lot of them are compromised. In a statement to NBC News, Hawaiian Electric says the cause of the Lahaina afternoon fire remains undetermined, and that while Ms. Potter served on the commission, she did not raise concerns about the utility's procedures for responding to red flag wind warnings and did not mention the idea of proactively turning off the power. The state's attorney general is investigating the fires and the government's response. <laughs> And the survivors, still stuck in limbo with no real answers, are searching for a way forward. Sleep doesn't come easy anymore, you know. It's just the PTSD is real, and uh, it's going to be tough for a while, but we got to make it. we got to do it for the people that didn't. In the ashes, the firefighters, victims, and survivors of Lahaina's deadly inferno is available right now on NBCNews.com. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.